just as a fun experiment, I figured I would use up the last of all of the beautiful flowers that were in these two bouquets before I put them in my compost. And uh, I just wanted to try and see what else might come of these other colors, just as a final visit to the bundle dyeing on silk. And remember, it's just a 20 minute steam on these. So I'm gonna get this rolled up and include that in another shorty experiment for us today. Okay, seeing how empty it looked last time, I decided to go ballistic and just cover it. Uh, see what happens. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad, but we didn't waste any flowers. <laughs> okay, ooh, steamy, which is good, but good Lord. Okay, we're gonna put in our little flower bundle and see how the chaos uh, version comes out and see in 20 minutes. Okay, let us take out our flower bundle. Ooh, she's steamy. Alrighty, we'll give this a little bit of a cool down. We'll see how the chaos flower collage came out. Well, alrighty, here we are with our ultra collage that we made, which I ended up wrapping, I think, with two lengths of <laughs> uh, fiber here because I didn't think it was tight enough because I put a bunch of like real chunky flowers that I didn't know how they were going to turn out. This was a complete experiment. We're just seeing uh, in the areas where I noticed on the other prints that it left a lot of blank space, I like piled more petals on top of the other petals. So maybe they will cross through and be petally. Not sure. We will see. And if it's taking a long time for me to unwind it, I will do the fast forwardy thing again. Unless you guys just want to hear me ramble. Okay, plastic first. These are originally plastic bags that I have recycled. They're a little, uh, not, not necessarily loving this process. Okay. There's the extra wrapping, looks like. How did I manage to do that? Weird. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, still weird. Okay. Last. Well, we definitely got a reaction onto the silk, so we can see that. Let's see how we did. Oh my god. Well, we did something. We definitely did something. I can confirm that. Okay, let me uh, unwind this as we go, and I will let you observe the process, because it looks like stuff happened. Okay. My finger was wet, so it missed the entire part of me recording, because the gloves and the phone do not mix, but I've unrolled it. Sorry that there's no fun montage for that. Here it is, unrolled. I remain perpetually baffled and utterly shocked by how these come out. I don't get it, but I feel like these would make really cool, like, painter pants. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, let this set for 24 hours before I launder it, and then we will revisit this when it is dry and see what colors uh, held. So thank you for coming to this experiment, and I will see you when this is dry our final review of our alum mordanted silk that was done in a steam bundle floral printing. This was just a super short experiment because I didn't want to let a nice bouquet go to waste and by waste I mean letting it dry up and not be decapitated and useful. So again super random the mums made some really cool concentric patterns. I feel like these look like really well worn in artists like painter pants. Like they've been splattered very artfully. And then again, there's that Gerbera daisy, which I think that if you found ones of a different color, they might do better. But generally, of course, dyeing flowers like uh, marigolds or known dyeing flowers, chamomile, those are usually safest to do prints with as well. But I am not in the business of doing things that we know work, I'm in the business of doing things that are new to try. So thank you for coming along on this shortened silk dyeing journey. The uh, fiber was cured for 24 hours before it got washed and it lost a lot of the pink that it was retaining as usual. That's usually the color that falls out, but it did keep it in a few spots. 
Thank you again. If you would be so kind as to like and subscribe or even just leave me a comment, I am doing my very best to grow my followship and become a more independent, semi-disabled artist. I appreciate you so much. Thank you to my patrons for keeping me alive, and I'll see you in the next experiment. Bye!